There is one other issue that people shouldn't lose track of, and that's the big trap of having deep discounts. That is, if you offer a strong price cut, say a 30% price cut, instead of a 15% one, uh, the additional drawback is that people who may not be aware of the promotion or who buy their usual amount get the discount even though they didn't need the incentive to buy the brand. So you're going to subsidize those, give them a deal that was unnecessary, and you lose money on those people. And then there's other stories on uh, types of promotions like multi-unit ones, which open up interesting opportunities, but far less is known about those. And there, the trick seems to be that you want to set the minimum quantity requirement very carefully, or, or otherwise they either are not effective or they backfire against you because people feel that they are being forced into something they don't like. And it seems that uh, large basket shoppers are more influenced by the signal, the fact that something is on deal, rather than studying the depth of the discount. And that offers opportunities because, of course, for the manufacturer, it means that he should not give extremely deep price cuts, but make sure that they're clearly announced in the stores so that people go for the signal. Mm -hmm. Others don't get subsidized that much, but you do get more effect in terms of extra sales.